Tonight, the family of an 85-year-old veteran is speaking to Fox 11 News about an incident where police in Wapaka County used a stun gun on the man. The incident happened just over two weeks ago near the Wisconsin Veterans Home at King near Wapaka. Police say they acted appropriately when using the taser on the man because the man, they say, was combative and did not cooperate with the deputy's requests. But the man's family says they are outraged by what happened. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has more on their side of this story. Dad has got dementia, okay? And he is, uh, he gets confused a lot. Dale Bruner's dad is 85-year-old Edward Bruner, a veteran and a father of four, grandfather and great-grandfather to many more. Members of Bruner's family are upset about a Wapaka County deputy using a stun gun on Bruner. The State Department of Veterans Affairs says the morning it happened, Bruner was distraught after recently losing his wife. I was outraged. Shane Bruner is Edward Bruner's grandson. He wants the deputy who used the stun gun on his grandfather to be suspended at a minimum. Police used a stun gun on the man when he was walking near the veteran's home at King. Police reports say the man was not listening to the Wapaka County Sheriff's deputy that was there, and the man became combative. For, for, for a young physically, hopefully physically fit uh, county police officer to have to tase an 85-year-old man with dementia who is, you know, distraught because his wife just died. I mean, if you can't come up with any other way other than, you know, using excessive force to get him to comply, I, I just think there's, there's an issue there. The sheriff's department reviewed the incident and said the deputy acted appropriately. Police reports show the deputy removed a cartridge from the taser before using it on the man. If he was so combative, I don't understand how they had enough time to take a piece out of the gun then. I mean, you just don't do that to an elderly person. I mean, that, that's not right. Family members tell Fox 11 after the stun gun incident, the man was taken to a mental health center for an evaluation and was kept there for three days, which caused him to miss his wife's funeral. The funeral was held the day after the deputy used the stun gun on Bruner. I was pretty shocked. I mean, I thought, yeah, if not the knowledge issue, at least let him go to the funeral. Members of Edward Bruner's family are exploring their legal options and say their priority is making sure something similar doesn't happen again. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Fox 11 has given the Wapaka County Sheriff's Department several opportunities to comment for this story, but the department has refused our requests.